Today we celebrate the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God, in this solemn Mass. It is a feast, of course, that is celebrated by the Universal Church. So every single parish church throughout the whole Catholic world today is celebrating Mary, Mother of God. But the feast also has a special meaning for us in the Diocese of Charlotte as our diocesan patronal feast. This past year, we have officially petitioned the Holy See to allow us to name the Blessed Virgin Mary under her title, Mother of God, as the principal patroness of our diocese. And currently, the petition is over there in one of the Vatican offices, waiting for them to work on it and respond to our request, this official formal petition that we have put in. But I have written a short letter to be read at all the parishes this Sunday regarding that petition to the Holy See as we are awaiting their response to our request. And so I've asked our deacon now if he would please read that letter to the parishioners. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God, has special importance for us in the Diocese of Charlotte. We have formally petitioned the Holy See to name the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, as the patroness of our diocese. From our earliest beginnings, faithful Catholics in Western North Carolina have demonstrated an abiding devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. When Irish gold miners built the first Catholic church in Mount Holly in 1842, they chose to honor Mary by name. The Benedictine monks who established Belmont Abbey chose Mary, help of Christians, as their patroness and named the church they built with their own hands in her honor. With the creation of the Diocese of Charlotte in 1972, Bishop Michael Begley, our first bishop, publicly entrusted the new diocese to the protection of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Now, as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of our diocese, I have directed the Chancellor's Office to undertake the formal process to confirm the Blessed Virgin Mary as our heavenly patroness. The formal process to name a patron began with a diocese-wide survey conducted over a six-week period last summer and publicized through social media, parish bulletins, the Catholic News Herald, and at the Eucharistic Congress. We received more than 1,400 responses from parishioners at 81 of our parishes and missions. I am pleased to announce that the Blessed Virgin Mary was the choice of an overwhelming plurality of the respondents, receiving almost twice as many votes as any other option. Of those who selected the Virgin Mary, they indicated the title, Mary, Mother of God, as the most fitting for our patroness. Every time we pray the Hail Mary, we call on Mary by her title, Mother of God, to pray for us. In the Eucharistic prayer at every Mass, the Blessed Virgin Mary is invoked by her title, Mother of God. We in the Diocese of Charlotte delight in the special privilege to proclaim many times over in our daily prayer our special loving bond with her as our Mother and the patroness of our Diocese. May the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Mother of the Church, keep us always close to her Divine Son, Jesus, our Savior. With my prayers and best wishes on this holy solemnity, I am sincerely yours in Christ Jesus, Peter J. Jugas, Bishop of Charlotte. Thank you. During this uh, celebration of our 50th anniversary of the Diocese of Charlotte, the Lord definitely has given us many blessings. And this will be yet one more tremendous blessing that the Lord will give to us in formally designating, finally, after 50 years, a official patronal feast for the diocese. So let us ask the Holy Mother of God
to pray for us, to intercede for us to her son Jesus for all of the needs and all the intentions of our families, our parishes and schools, and all our ministries, as well as our personal needs. May God continue to bless us through her powerful intercession. And we have with us in the sanctuary of the church at this moment the special statue of Our Lady with child, with the infant Jesus, Mary, Mother of God, that during this 50th anniversary year has traveled and visited all of the parishes and all of the missions of the diocese as well as all of the schools. Just as she, at the visitation to her cousin Elizabeth to share the good news, visited her to comfort Elizabeth, who was with child John the Baptist, in her need. And of course today, we do have a very special intention that we bring before her today, and that is for the happy repose of the soul of our beloved Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. We do pray that God grant him a heavenly reward for his generous and faithful service to Christ and his church. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. <laughs> 